Hafadé Guam, here are the headlines for CNMI. I can't express how I feel right now, helping others, you know. I get so emotional, but we want them to move in and have a merrier Christmas this year for this holiday season. That's all that we want. It's been 14 months since Super Typhoon U2 hit, and now a family that's been living in this tent gets to move into this home right in time for Christmas. It's the Voluntary Agency's Leading and Organizing Repair Program, Valor, designed to provide emergency home repairs for renters, owners, and occupants whose residents got damaged by Super Typhoon U2 and did not receive federal assistance after the storm, where resources are either donated by organizations or paid for by FEMA. We have 71 that have been that have had repairs here in Saipan and then 15 on Tinian. The Valor program will be on island until April, with 16 homes on Saipan and 36 homes on Tinian still waiting to be repaired. Right now we've had 250 volunteers uh, that have actually come from the mainland and today we're really happy to introduce the, the our sisters from Guam that are here to help uh, get people back inside their homes. Now the Valor program is really here to do just emergency repairs. One house in Kagman 2 received severe damage from Super Typhoon U2, which kept a family of six living in a tent. When we first arrived, um, there were the windows, these windows were just boarded up with plywood up across the front here and one of them in the back, so there was nothing. The back door was, was plywood. Um, and then the, the jealousy windows were broken, the frames didn't work, so you couldn't crank them. Um, and so, and then also the emergency temporary had just put a flat roof on it, uh, which was leaking. And originally this roof was a gable roof, just as you see now, so it sheds water much better. So um, the roof has come in. Uh, there was no electricity whatsoever in, in the building as well. But volunteers from the Methodist Church in Texas and the Methodist Church in Guam involved in the Valor program have worked to ensure the roof and structure of the home will withstand strong winds and rain from stormy weather. It's such a, a Christmas present to them and you know and for us too just to know that we're giving and, and we can be so thankful for what we have in the states. I mean running water, you know, um, potable water, you know, all of those things that you take, uh, uh, you take for granted. Coming from a medical background with nothing at all, I came in ready for this that I have to go beyond my comfort zone and I've learned so much. I think I'm now expert in doing a hurricane ties, putting some windows and assisting a lot of uh, people out here building the house. So I don't regret. I want to reach out to all our brothers and sisters from Guam. You know, this is our opportunity really to help our neighboring brothers and sisters here in Saipan. And I really encourage them and really touch their heart because we too experience what they have experienced here. And FEMA is seeking more volunteers to assist with repairs for the remainder of homes on the islands of Saipan and Tinian. For the Valor program, we're really looking at some mitigation measures. So we're looking at hurricane straps for the roof and we're looking at putting back the windows. Uh, we really are in need, again, of skilled uh, labor. So if there's anybody who has any skill set with carpentry or plumbing, we're asking them to volunteer with us. Uh, please contact local care or you can also email us at cnmi-valor, V-A-L-O-R, at fema.dhs.gov. This is Ashley McDowell reporting for KSPN2. For more news, visit SiapanTV.com. For KSPN2 News, I'm Ashley McDowell.